Hello, this is Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica, and today we are going to talk about monster lifts. Monster lifts are an advanced kettlebell training exercise that is above just the fundamental programming of the six fundamental kettlebell training exercises. So you can really do the fundamental six in a progressive way and get better for two, three years, depending on how you write the program. Monster lifts come in after you are really, really, really good at the fundamental lifts already. So if you're still working on your swings and your Turkish get-ups, save this video for later. If you are still working on your fundamental clean and press progressions, save this video for later. If you're still working on your squat technique, definitely save this for later. Monster lifts are when you take three exercises and you put them together. A combination lift is a clean and a press. It's a clean put together with a press. A monster lift is when you take a clean and you put a squat in the middle and then you do a press. And that would be like a clean thruster like you would see in CrossFit. But the thing about a monster lift is that there's infinite amounts of variability inside of the concept of monster lifts, which is why people who do monster lifts regularly are kind of doing muscly confusy stuff, but it's not really muscle confusion. They're still working on fundamentally useful athletic activities, but they're changing the order in the program to make it completely unpredictable so that they get more of a fitness guy looking effect. It is an excellent way to train. It is also a very mean way to train. It is incredibly difficult. It pushes your difficulty levels up into the CrossFit levels of difficulty and basically the horror of training levels. Taking, and you can make this with any of the fundamental movements. It could be clean, squat, snatch, press, and then you can vary the numbers of each one of those things. So it could be do four cleans, do three snatches, do two squats, do one press, counting as one rep. And because you can change any of the fundamental pieces, and you can put any number assigned to any one of those things, there is a functionally infinite amount of variability within the same thing, which is now, this is once again why kettlebells, this is why kettlebells are well-loved by athletic trainers of all types. Because once you get one or two kettlebells, if you have a whole gym of kettlebells, it gets even crazier. There's a mathematical way that you can approach this problem to create things. So one of the fundamental things, people who get really into kettlebelling will push into the 32 kilogram range, but doing monster lifts with 32 kilograms is absolutely, absolutely awful. It is a nightmare. So most people, your common everyday average athlete, will probably be fine doing monster lifts with 24K kilogram kettlebells kind of forever. For women, that would be kind of 12K level. Now you can go above that. You can go all the way up to 48K if you're guys. But in order to do monster lifts with two 48K kettlebells, you would have to be ungodly levels of strong. I think I've seen maybe three guys do it in the last 15 years that I know about. There, I'm sure that there are guys out there who can actually do it. I don't know any of them personally. So the idea of the monster lift allows you to get as much training out of your kettlebells as possible. So if a male athlete had two 16K kettlebells, two 20s and two 24s, a total of six kettlebells, he could become incredibly strong very, very, very quickly. So for women, women's numbers would be like two 8K kettlebells, two 10K kettlebells and two 12K kettlebells. Once again, six kettlebells. With that amount of kettlebells, it doesn't take up much space at all in your house. And the amount of stuff you can do with it is virtually infinite. I'm sure that there's actually a mathematical, no, it's not, because you can change the numbers forever. So no, it is infinite. Monster lifts are kind of where you push CrossFit athletes because they're already doing fundamental lifts. It's very similar to what like the feeling of CrossFit. So CrossFitters do very well with this. Monster lifts differ from competition lifts because competition lifts use just a simple move like a snatch or like a clean and a jerk. And then they work on perfecting those movements for a 10 minute set of time. So they're getting insanely good and they're trying to get their numbers better for that 10 minute set. A monster lift can have any length of time, 
but usually they're done for smaller sets. You set up a, a monster lift, you do it, you wait two to three minutes as if it's pure strength training, and then you do another set. You would do three to five sets. Usually three sets is plenty to get a training response. Five sets is for people who are truly pretty crazy. Monster lifts can get then even crazier when you go beyond your fundamental six exercises and you get into your other basic exercises and kettlebelling, high windmill, side press, bent press, inside clean, outside clean, alternating pendulums. There's a lot. And so every time you add one other exercise to this equation, this equation gets just absolutely huge. So there are so many things that you can do. So you could take kettlebells and turn them into your fundamental form of training for absolutely ever. If you were locked in a building for say weeks at a time, there would be no way you would run out of things to do with the idea of monster lifts. This has been Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica.